Hey again, guys. You know what I like to do when I'm wearing my Dave Parker jersey and playing with my Dave Parker signed bat? I like to look at some baseball cards. I want to send out a special thank you to Sports Cards Anonymous. Uh, he invited me on the, his live feed last night, and it was a lot of fun. We had a great discussion. And uh, we talked about a few things that I, I kind of sparked me to want to show um, some things here. Uh, and Dave Parker's one of them. We, we talked about him a little bit because I remember Mario Soto uh, threw, used to throw this blooper ball. And, you know, Dave Parker was such a good hitter and a home run hitter. And uh, Mario Soto threw him this blooper ball one day and it went, Shh. and man, he wound up and he swung and totally missed the ball. I mean, it was hilarious. But I, I went to Steve Blass's baseball camp when I was 16 years old. And uh, I, I've mentioned this a lot of times, but I got hitting lessons from Willie Stargell. And uh, when we were practicing um, before the game, we were out there on the field. And uh, John Candelaria was running the stairs. Uh, and Dave Parker came in from center field and he had his big boombox on his shoulder, all smiles, just came in from center field like he didn't have a care in the world and he was like a larger than life personality Dave Parker and man he was a he was a big guy he could hit for power he could hit for average had a cannon of an arm and uh, so he used to do this thing I don't know for those of you who had never watched him play when he would catch a fly ball he would go like this and snag the ball and man he used to make me a nervous wreck right so one day he comes up and he goes like that and he catches the ball and it goes flying behind him, rolls the whole way to the wall. And, uh, you know, like if we did that growing up playing ball, uh, our coaches would have benched us. But he got away with it. That was the only time I ever saw him miss one doing that. But uh, a bit ridiculous. So I still have my... I, I was, I was uh, talking on that channel. I, the first rookie card I ever remember chasing was Dave Parker's. And it wasn't because it was a rookie card, because that really that term didn't really exist at the time. But he was just a hot young player. You know, he was taken over for Roberto Clemente in right field. And uh, so my neighbor had this card, and I wanted it too. So this is my Dave Parker rookie card, the first rookie card I ever chased. And that's the one from my childhood. And then I later got an autograph copy. But the first rookie card I ever chased, Dave Parker. I really think he should be in the Hall of Fame. I, um, I'm going to post a link also on here uh, to his highlights from 1979. Watch the throw he makes to home plate uh, to get Eddie Murray out. It's just insane. Now, Canadian Cards uh, had a request for me, and he wanted to see some C55 hockey cards. And so I want to show uh, those now. I only have two, but they're pretty good. I have uh, Fred Cyclone Taylor, and he was really the first great scorer in hockey. I guess there is some question on what year these were actually put out. And... The first defenseman really known to take the puck coast to coast, and you might know him by his trophy, and that's Art Ross. Then we have some other exciting news in baseball. Tim LaCastro just set the record with 18 straight stolen bases without getting caught. Man, is he fast. And Otani's back in a big way. And, you know, if you've watched some of my old videos, you know I'm a big fan of his. Always bought a lot of his cards. And I got a few more here. Uh, this is a Chronicles, and it's a really nice card. And the Mosaic. You know, I really love the Mosaic. Uh, the football that was released, the basketball, and now the baseball. Just fell in love with these cards. And here's a prism. Got the regular too, but this is the prism. The other day I was watching him play, and he was totally fooled on a pitch. 
and just slapped his wrist. And the ball went out of the park. <laughs> like, you got to be kidding me. There's nothing this guy can't do. He's pitching great, hitting with power, hitting... Uh, uh, he's, just, he's just an unbelievable player, you know, the next coming of Babe Ruth. And he's really, really fun to watch. And so, I'm going to go swing my Dave Parker bat around a little bit. Uh, that's what I have for you tonight. So, once again, thanks for watching.